Hello, hello, and welcome back. I am Joy with R3 Fit World, and today I'm going to talk to you about the top six things that you do not want to consume more than three times per month, more than three times per month. Now, what's interesting about this is we've already discussed two of them, and you can find that if you missed those videos on YouTube, Twitter, uh, R3 Fit World is also on Facebook, and I highly recommend you stay uh, abreast of the other ones to, that are coming up as well because these are very, very, this is very powerful information that can really change your life and, and, and your health and your energy levels. So I highly recommend that you just stay the course with me over the next, what do we have? This is the third one, so we have three more after this one. But I'm excited to bring you this one because this is a mistake that I think is made often because people really think that this is a healthy thing to do and that these are healthy foods to eat. And so we're gonna basically debunk that myth today. So drum roll please. Brrr. <laughs> the third food that you do not want to consume more than three times per month is fruit mixed with something else. I'm talking fruit mixed with carbs, fruit mixed with protein, fruit mixed with nuts, it doesn't matter. Anytime you mix fruit with another food, what will happen is this. It only takes fruit 30 minutes or less to digest. So if you mix it with something else that takes two hours, four hours, six hours to digest, our bodies will hold the fruit hostage. And, and I'm talking, it holds it hostage and it stays there and does three things. It's fermenting, it's rotting, it turns into acid. And while that happens, now you're wondering why, why you have migraines, why you have excessive bloating all the time, why you have gas. And it's because of the fact of improper food combinations. So when you know this, then you know not to do something like this more than three times a month and definitely not to do it uh, as it relates to uh, on a frequent basis every you know several times a day or several times a week because it will do the same things over and over and over because fruit was designed for you to consume it uh, alone so you can have it on an empty stomach you can have it a half an hour before a meal and that will be fine because why it gives it time to do its thing and go through the whole digestive process undisturbed without being held hostage. So that is the key with that, guys. I mean, think about it. If you go to a hotel, what do they have on their breakfast buffet? They have the pancakes, waffles, sausage, all of this, and then they have this beautiful array of fruits, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, bananas, apples, peaches, whatever, and you think that you're doing the healthy thing by mixing in some fruit with all the other stuff that you're having, and what you're doing is actually causing your body to have this digestive upset, and what do people say? They always blame the culprit. They always blame fruit as being the culprit, and they'll say things like, oh, I can't eat that. It causes issues when I eat fruit. Yes, it causes issues because of the way that you're consuming it. It's not designed to be eaten in that way. So, a good example is if I were to eat, let's just say a banana bread muffin something or another, then you do not want to be in the same room with me that particular day <laughs> because I will have gas because of mixing that banana with bread. And I want you to test it out for yourself. I'm really, really big on experiencing something for yourself because that's way more powerful than me just talking, talking, talking because you'll get to see for yourself the difference and it is very, very obvious. You just have to, number one, be aware of it and then number two, pay attention to it the next time you consume it in a matter in a manner like that. This is another example, which is a granola bar, because you have the fruit mixed, uh, in this case, dried fruit, raisins, cranberries, or whatever, mixed with the nuts, does the exact same thing. It doesn't matter if the fruit is fresh, frozen, or dry. You do not want to mix it with other foods. You want to eat them alone, at least three times or less per month, and it will help your body tremendously you will feel so much more optimal and you will thank me later. Maybe not now because what I'm saying, you're trying to wrap your brain around it, but I'm telling you to let your body be the judge and you'll see for yourself, which is super, super powerful. And so until next time, guys, R3 for life.